Ever wondered who the Anunnaki are, the beings whose name means those who from heaven to earth came? These intriguing individuals have their roots deeply embedded in the ancient Sumerian texts, which are among the earliest written records known to humanity. The name Anunnaki is a term that originated from the Sumerian language with Anu meaning heaven and Ki translating to earth. When combined we're left with a term that literally translates to those of royal blood or princely offspring, but is more commonly interpreted as those who from heaven to earth came. Now let's take a step back to the cradle of civilization, ancient Sumer. This was a historical region located in southern Mesopotamia, present-day southern Iraq during the Chalcolithic and early Bronze Age. It's here where we find the first instances of writing, the development of complex societal structures, and the birth of many scientific concepts. But what makes this civilization truly remarkable is its pantheon of gods, the Anunnaki. According to Sumerian texts, these enigmatic figures were believed to have descended from the heavens, bestowing upon humanity profound wisdom and advanced technology. They were depicted as being of great stature, possessing superior intellect and extraordinary longevity. When we explore the annals of history it's hard to ignore the significance of the ancient Sumerians. They've given us a wealth of knowledge about our past, and have shaped our understanding of early human civilizations. And at the heart of their culture and religion were the Anunnaki, these divine beings who were revered, feared and deeply influential. But who exactly were these celestial beings? Were they simply mythological figures, a product of human imagination? Or were they something more? Were they, as some theories suggest, beings from another planet who played a crucial role in the evolution of mankind? These are questions that have puzzled historians, archaeologists and researchers for centuries. The Anunnaki, a term shrouded in mystery, continues to spark curiosity and fuel debates among scholars and enthusiasts alike. The Anunnaki, a name that has stirred mysteries and controversies for centuries. The Anunnaki first appeared in our history in the form of ancient Sumerian texts. These ancient documents, etched into clay tablets by the Sumerians around 4,000 years ago, give us our earliest glimpses into the existence of the Anunnaki. In these texts the Anunnaki are depicted as powerful deities each with their distinct roles and responsibilities. They were the gods of the heavens and the earth, the sun and the moon, the wind and the water. Yet, beyond their elemental dominions, they were also the patrons of human endeavors, such as agriculture, law, and warfare. The Sumerians portrayed the Anunnaki as a complex, hierarchical society, not unlike our own. At the apex of this divine hierarchy sat Anu, the sky god, revered as the supreme ruler. Beneath him, a pantheon of gods and goddesses each held their place, their status determined by their duties and their lineage. Enki, the god of water and wisdom, was a prominent figure, known for his intellect and his role in the creation of mankind. Enlil, the god of air and storms, was a force of nature, commanding respect and fear. Inanna, the goddess of love and war, was both adored and dreaded embodying the dual nature of human existence. The Sumerian texts also allude to the extensive influence of the Anunnaki on Earth. They were said to have taught humans the basics of civilization, from writing and mathematics to the arts and sciences. Some texts even suggest that the Anunnaki directly intervened in human affairs, guiding and shaping our history. These ancient documents offer a rich tapestry of tales and legends, with the Anunnaki at their heart. They depict a world where gods walked among mortals, where divine intervention was a part of daily life, and where humanity was but a small part of a much larger cosmic drama. Thus the ancient texts painted the Anunnaki as powerful beings with a significant impact on our world. Their legacy, as told by the Sumerians, continues to captivate us, inspiring endless speculation and intrigue about our origins and our place in the cosmos. Did the Anunnaki really contribute to human evolution as some theories suggest? This question has sparked countless debates among scholars and enthusiasts alike. Diving into this ocean of theories one name that frequently surfaces is Zechariah Sitchin. An author and researcher, Sitchin proposed a controversial theory that has since fascinated many and ignited fiery debates. He believed that the Anunnaki, beings from the Sumerian pantheon, were not merely mythological figures but extraterrestrial beings from a planet called Nibiru. His theory suggests that these extraterrestrial beings came to Earth around 450,000 years ago for the purpose of mining gold. But the Anunnaki found the task laborious and sought a solution. This, Sitchin proposed, led to the creation of humans. According to his interpretation of ancient Sumerian texts, 
The Anunnaki genetically engineered Homo erectus, an early ancestor of modern humans, to create Homo sapiens as a labor force. This theory if true would mean that the Anunnaki played a significant role in our evolution, accelerating the process and shaping us into the intelligent beings we are today. It would also suggest that our abilities to create complex societies, develop technology and understand abstract concepts are gifts, or perhaps inheritances, from these ancient advanced beings. But as intriguing as this theory is, it's important to remember that it's just that, a theory. Many scholars dispute Sitchin's interpretation of the Sumerian texts, arguing that his translations are incorrect or taken out of context. Critics also point out the lack of empirical evidence to support the existence of Nibiru, or the Anunnaki's visit to Earth. While these theories provide a tantalizing twist to human evolution, they remain speculative, often blurring the lines between history, mythology, and science fiction. They inspire curiosity, encouraging us to question and explore our origins. Nonetheless, they are heavily debated and far from being accepted as established fact. Whilst these theories are intriguing, they remain speculative and heavily debated. We may never know the full truth, but one thing is certain, the Anunnaki continue to captivate our collective imagination thousands of years after their first mention in ancient texts. The Anunnaki have not only fascinated historians but have also permeated modern culture and conspiracy theories. Their elusive nature has allowed for a myriad of interpretations that have found their way into various facets of our society. In the realm of literature the Anunnaki have been the subjects of numerous works of fiction and speculative theories, from science fiction novels to historical conspiracy theory books. These ancient beings have sparked the imaginations of authors worldwide. They've been depicted as everything from ancient astronauts to manipulative deities, showcasing the breadth and depth of their influence on literary culture. Moving on to the silver screen, the Anunnaki have also made their mark in the world of cinema. Films have portrayed them as powerful beings influencing humanity's path, often serving as a metaphor for our struggles with authority and control. Their enigmatic nature lends itself to thrilling narratives that captivate audiences, further cementing their place in popular culture. Beyond the arts, the Anunnaki have become a cornerstone in many conspiracy theories. Some theorists propose that the Anunnaki are not mythological beings, but rather advanced extraterrestrial life forms that visited Earth in the distant past. They argue that these beings greatly influenced human evolution, civilization, and even our understanding of the cosmos. These theories, while controversial, have garnered a considerable following, contributing to the Anunnaki's modern mythos. The Anunnaki have also found their way into the realm of internet culture. They are a popular topic in online forums and social media platforms, where discussions range from scholarly debates to wild speculation. This digital presence has further expanded their influence, reaching a new generation of curious minds. In conclusion, the Anunnaki's influence extends far beyond the ancient texts they first appeared in. They've become a cultural phenomenon, inspiring art, media, and conspiracies that continue to captivate our collective curiosity. No matter the truth, the Anunnaki have certainly left an indelible mark on our culture and collective imagination. So, are the Anunnaki real or just a product of ancient mythology and modern imagination? This question has set the stage for a debate that's as riveting as it is contentious. On one side we have historians and scholars who claim that the Anunnaki are purely fictional, a construct of ancient Sumerian and Akkadian mythology. They argue that the tales of these celestial beings were merely allegorical, intended to explain natural phenomena or impart moral lessons, much like the myths of Greek and Roman gods. They point out the lack of concrete archaeological evidence to support the existence of such beings. No unearthed tablets, no inscriptions, no artifacts that can definitively prove that the Anunnaki were more than just a figment of ancient imagination. On the other side, we have enthusiasts and alternative historians who believe otherwise. They propose that the Anunnaki were indeed real, extraterrestrial beings who once visited Earth. They argue that the intricate details and consistency in the ancient texts across different cultures cannot be mere coincidence. Instead, they suggest these are historical records of real events, albeit described in the language and understanding of the time. They too, however, lack the concrete evidence to support their claims. Then, there are those who sit on the fence, intrigued by the enigmatic Anunnaki, but unsure where to place their belief. They find the arguments on both sides compelling, yet inconclusive. They continue to question, to research, to seek the truth. In the end, the existence of the Anunnaki hangs in the balance of belief and evidence. 
It teeters on the edge of fact and fiction, history and mythology. As of now the scales have not decidedly tipped in favor of either side. The lack of concrete evidence leaves the door open to interpretation, to doubt, and to endless debate. The reality of the Anunnaki may remain a mystery but their story continues to captivate us, inviting us to question and explore the unknown.